Zan from Instagram asked me this. How to display the simulation results? He has actually tried to run the calculations, but then the results are not displayed. He also shared a screenshot of his project. It's an outdoor project, of course. It cannot be something else. He has built everything. He added the lights. But then when he runs the calculations, he has no results that are displayed. I will address this issue right now using an outdoor project I'm working on. So you need to know this. Yalux is like a calculator. It's a lighting calculator. It's a visualizer at the same time, but you need to think of it as a calculator. If we don't enter anything and we don't tell Dialux anything and run the calculations, This is what happens. We have a results overview that is empty. And it's actually very logical because we didn't, I mean, make any input. It's like if you want to know what is 20 plus 30, you have the calculator in your hand. You don't like type anything and you are waiting to I mean, you are waiting for the calculator to tell you the result. It wouldn't give you any result because it doesn't know anything. You need to type things first. It's exactly the same thing here. You need to tell the Alux that you need, for example, to know the light level on this, I mean, area, on this sparking area. And the way to do that is actually by going to calculation objects, you can add um, a calculation object, a calculation surface, but then um, this is not recommended in this case. It's way better to go to spaces and then draw, I mean, a space. I mean, this tab here, you can find it in light. It's here, also in construction. But since it's a calculation object, let's stay in calculation objects here. And then let's go to the floor plan view. And then let's draw a polygonal space like this, like this, and like that. Right click, close polygon, yes. And then see, magic happens actually. This has just been added to this area. It's not empty anymore. Let's name this, for example, parking area. By the way, every outdoor space you draw it's by default an outdoor transportation area if you want to change that go to edit uh, and um, actually i am using the last version of the outdoor european standard if you are using the usa or japan you can go and click on them let's expand this template selection let's go to parking areas now let's expand this again we have three options Let's choose this one here, the medium traffic, parking areas of department stores, office buildings, plants, sports, and multi-purpose building complexes. Okay, let's choose this one. Here are the requirements for this kind of parkings. What interests us more is, I mean, the visual task and the uniformity. You can go and modify this if you want by playing with these, I mean, elements, but let's just leave it like this. Now Dialux knows that it's a parking area for medium traffic. Let's run the calculations. The space is there, but then no results available. The thing is actually, I didn't pay attention to this, to the position of my space. So I need to make it zero because I need it to be on the ground actually. So on the 3D, it is like this and then I will run the calculations again. Now, here is the result. It's actually 14.7 lux with a uniformity of 0 0.23. This square is red because the standard is not fulfilled. Light level is okay. I mean, it's 14, it's more than 10. But then the uniformity here is 23 instead of 25, which is not a big deal. So I would say that it's correct. This is 
how you need to proceed if you want to, I mean, see the results of your calculations. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.